Okay, this is the, well, one of the provincial capitals of Maguindanao, I think. Exactly. Yeah. There's another one though, Saan, Asa. Over there, in Isulan. No, no, that's Maguindanao. Somewhere else. <laughs> Somewhere over there. <laughs> Somewhere over there, but these girls just pulled over. They're from Mid Sayap and. Ensim we're going to Coronadal, but let's see more Ilan Grace, Ilan Grace, happy birthday! It's her birthday today, so have the happy best day. <laughs> Do you want a headband? Birthday? Hey. Here. No, thank you. Okay. No happy birthday. Okay, good vibes! Power on! Drive safe! <laughs> Mosques everywhere, but every time I look at people with my mask off like this, like watch, I'll do it right here. Oh no, I didn't make eye contact. But uh, <laughs> if you do this, everyone does it back to you with a big smile. I think this is the legislative capital for Maguindanao, Sharif Agwak. So many beautiful mosques on the road, even in the middle of the rice fields, you just see them. I find mosques incredibly, what's the word for it? Like, they're just magical, the way they look, you know, with the crescent moon and everything. What's up, Brad? Brad. <laughs> Lots of bikers on the road. The main highway through Maguindanao from Sultan Kudarat up to Cotabato City is actually super relaxed. Uh, really wide but again I'm saying that there's lots of checkpoints and there's a history of some very intense conflict here so again things are getting better it seems and the vibes you know continue to push in a positive direction but you know best to come here with local friends I have many local friends all around me right now municipalities I've been chatting with them and I'm going to see uh, a few of them in Cotabato for tonight so Snack, I still want a snack. I need something. 5 p.m. You've seen me here before, I just had to pass by, it's along the main road, you just turn off 100 meters, the pink mosque. First time I got to hear the call of the prayer uh, at the pink mosque, I showed up now, it's 5.20. Hey, how are you? Hey, son. <laughs> I've been here a few times before. Actually, last time I came, I ended up on the roof of this mosque and hanging out with some locals who actually one of the caretakers. But Musta, okay, lang, okay, lang, nice one. The kids are hanging out right now. Call the prayer. Uh, I'm just gonna take a few photos. Just wanted to stop by because it's only about 100 meters off the main road. Yes. I go see Kulas. Pangalan Kulas. Kulas. Oh, ikaw, one more pangalan. Amir. Amir, nice one. Hey, this is Ate Jehan. And uh, how would you say in Maguindanao? And how would you say like Ate or friend or? Kaka or Kaka. Kaka. Means Ate or. Okay, so this is Kaka Jehan. Yes. Kaka Jehan, and actually, she told me right now the mosque. 
<laughs> this this isn't a call to prayer. This is uh, reciting the Quran. No. Yes. So the mosque is reciting the Quran right now here. This is Datu Saudi Apa So cute. Hello. Hello. She's Jamela. Hey Jamela. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yes. Actually, a lot of the locals Kabbalah local. You can YouTube. Uh, Yes, you know me from I YouTube. Know you. That's cool. I've come here three times, so uh, I really appreciate all my experiences, McGinda. Now, okay, I gotta keep going. I gotta go to Cotabato. Yes. So okay. nice to see you guys. Thank nice to meet you. you. Thank you, bye Kakadu. Bye bye. Thank, bye, -bye. Thank you, Amir. Salamat. <laughs> That's this is my professional photographer, Amir. That was so dope. I just gave my other headband to Amir and then he ran back home. They live behind the mosque in that little community. Oh. Brad, how are you? Oh, becoming Filipino. Filipino? Yeah, becoming Filipino. Where are you from? Where are you from? Galen, Canada, but in Katira, Dabao. Oh, yeah. Where are you from? Here in Katira. Ah, cool. I'll stay. In that, Brad. Oh, what's up? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop for a quick snack here. <laughs> I should say caca, right? The queen of mango shakes. Hi! <laughs> Ayos, Ayoste? Ayos? Oh, she's busy. <laughs> It's really kind of you, Kuya. Yeah. From? You get, like, you're getting a Mara? From? From Canada. Hey. <laughs> from? From uh, Matano? Matano. Yeah. Oh, Matano. This is from where? Matano? From ah, let's go to Matano. Matano. Ooh, okay. Mara. Mara, Mara. Mara, Mara. Amir, Amir is your kid? Yeah, I'm a No way! That's amazing. Her, her son is Amir and yeah, he has a headband. Yeah, go, go ask, go ask him. Yeah. I didn't know that. What are the chances? That's so cool. Yeah, go, go see Amir. He's so nice. He, he was taking photos of me earlier. I let him use my phone. He was helping me. Love it. Love the vibes. Thank you. Yeah, you have a cool son. You have a really cool son. The kids are so cool here. Oh, I can be your hero. I get it. Okay, one second. Here we go. Here we go. So I, I'm, having, I'm having the best time right now. With everybody here, I, you can say kaka for anybody. Yes. Yes, yes. So this is kaka hero. Yes. Kaka amparo. Kaka amparo. Kaka regan. Kaka regan. Yes. Kaka sarifa. Kaka sarifa. Kaka Joe. Kaka James. Kaka James. Oh, and then kaka moy. Kaka moy. Everyone's everyone's. Kaka James. And this is my first yes. ever mango shake in Dutch yes. Saudi. Yes. Mango shake. And this like this. You, you, you promote our product mm. here. Oh, it's mango. It's mango gram with yeah. pearls. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And Mering. And hello, Mangani. And the people are waving a smile. Andy, I got a marang. Marangs are very popular in Mindanao. Oh, yes. Well, I mean, is this one you know? You know? Like, yes, yes. Oh, let's try Pretty Abre. Pretty Abre. Yes. Wow, delicious. The best. Delicious. <laughs> How do you delicious. say? I, I know, I know Maginda now and delicious. Masarap. Oh, masarap. Okay, same about that. I'm going in, okay then? Okay, okay. Can you try? Like go. this. Marin. Marang in Maginda now. What name? Mm. What's the name of this one? Oh, yeah. Just yeah, Marang. I don't know. Yeah. We're like English. Oh, uh, like mm. English. Mm. Uh, because actually, actually, it's a, uh, oh, it's a Canada, it's a Canada, wala marang, wala, wala marang, in the Philippines, so only, only in the Philippines. Oh. Originally, Kaka, you're from down this road, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A different uh, barangay, or different barangay. Different barangay. Yeah, yeah. If if this road goes all the way to Midsaya, no. Midsaya, Madia. Datu Salibu, Datu Piang, then Mitsaya. Okay. Yeah. But it's not like the main highway, no? It's no, more. No, no, no. No. It's, it's, it's better to stay on the main yeah, highway. Yeah, no? yeah, yeah, no. Okay. Don't go to Dentia. Okay, okay. So down that way, she suggests I should stay clear of for now. But. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, Sakto. Pero, like, there is a Datu Saudi Ampatuan 
I know you guys know I've been here before and I stop at the mosque and I say hello but like do you see many foreign nationals or like like me Puti do you see many Puti Diri like McVisit or Gamailang or Hint Conti or Conti 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 How do you feel though when you see like a like, We're happy oh, that's cool. you're funny <laughs> Because I'm funny <laughs> So if you come here you have to be funny that's the key Kinikili uh, You're funny I think you know, I think sometimes like for me personally like nakati mm -hmm. rodi and I think yeah. minsan ramming tao like they hear of like let's say pink mosque and like Mindanao yeah. and they get like oh takut like no. like you're bad people oh no, no, you know no. but they love you they like you yeah yeah even my son they're talking me I saw one vlogger but I don't know your name it's Nicholas just now I saw you and I meet you. And yeah. you're happy. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. You're funny. This is this is trouble guys. <laughs> I've been stopped at a checkpoint. <laughs> okay, made it to Kurabato City. As you can see, this is the main road. Uh, my friends have this cool place called Grahi Bistro. Check it out. So we're gonna eat together, catch up, talk about life, I'll show you some clips of the food. And then I'll sort out my battle plans as well for tomorrow. That's Paulo, our friend. He's the tagia. But he's, he's big time. Big time tagia. And say bread. And say pinaka lami do it. Chicken seasick. It's our one of our special. Okay, chicken seasick. Did, did we order that? <laughs> We did? Okay, chicken tea steak, it's on the way. He's big time. What am I, you like? Tita is vlogging. Teen time. Good How do you say Maguindanao in Monadia? Is there even an expression Maguindanao in like, oh man? Oh, Maguindanao. Go on, go on, go on. Is that the chicken tea steak? Yeah, that's Oh my gosh. Brad, Brad. Brad, seasick, Brad. Seasick. It's the best. Better than Pampanga seasick. You can't say that. Bakakon. <laughs> this, this is this is too classic. So my buddies, uh, they're like, hey, yeah, no worries, just come crash our place in Cotabato. He just gave me his room. This is his bed. 
I remember, I remember when uh, Bobut did the same in 2017. But 2016. yeah, yeah, 2016. Yeah. The Cotabato boys are giving me their own beds. This is a reminder to myself, Brad. If I, if people come to Katiyo, if you come to Katiyo, I have to give you my bed. Yeah, it's okay. It's a salamat, salamat, salamat. Okay. Just want to just again, so much I can talk about and say. Let me sort of some stuff, talk to some people, plug some things in, talk to you before I go to sleep. What a what a bro, hey? Just pumps the aircon and gives me a fan and sacrifices his own bed. Um, if there's one thing I've learned in the Philippines, it's when people want to give and want to help you, they want you to accept it as well. So I'm not gonna say no as much as I'm happy to just lay on the floor. I thought there'd be like a mattress on the floor or something. No, my friend gave me his bed. And for me, it's just a reminder to pay it forward, to you know, to give as well and to continue to give and to be willing to also even, you know, sacrifice my bed and let my friends use it. And, and I'm tired, sorry, I'm like, I'm just, overwhelmed by hospitality again in the Philippines and I want this to remind myself to always do the same. And if you experience, you know, Filipinos sharing with you a lot of hospitality or giving or sacrificing even to help you, I mean, accept it, but also don't take advantage of it. Pay it forward. Um, okay, I just, before I sleep, I just want to talk quickly about what I did. I drove alone by myself from Davao, across many provinces, through Maguindanao, here to Cotabato City. This isn't something you just do if you're not somebody who's been in the Philippines for a long time, and if you don't have many friends around um, in these areas. Because yes, there are some bad elements out there. Uh, there's a tough history in some areas here, in, in, in these parts of Mindanao. I mean, everybody knows that. And if you don't know that, you can research about, you know, Maguindanao and, and various, you know, events that have happened in the past. I don't want to say them all here on camera because you can just research them and they'll pop up on the internet. And, you know, there's been some horrible things, but those horrible things, again, are not a representation of the majority of the people here. And there's so many amazing people. And that's what I found along this whole journey that I just did on my own, um, once again. Another thing too is, you know, I'm, I'm vlogging in these areas, but before I vlog too, I'm, I'm making sure that I always let people know who I am, where I'm from, what I'm doing, why I'm gonna maybe pull out a camera. Um, and people, you know, right away, they, understand and they get excited and they want to learn more and, and the vibes are good. You know, if I just ran around here, didn't say anything, just started filming people, sticking a camera in people's face, it can, for example, people might even think I'm CIA or they might think, you know, what's this guy doing? You know, you know, does he have some sort of, you know, there could be like a negative effect to it. But case in point, like Lake Buluan, when I was there, when I was flying the drone, um, a whole bunch of locals around me and because I could speak both Bisaya and Tagalog, I was able to explain myself to everybody. And I'm also, as I'm driving alone on these journeys, guys, I'm always in contact with people along the way. I have friends literally in almost every municipality all around these areas. And my friends are always chatting to me and I let them know where I am and what I'm doing. And so again, I guess I just think it's important that this journey that I'm going on now by myself, especially to some unique areas, both in central Mindanao and probably towards the West, uh, please don't just get up and do it and be reckless about it. I'm doing this after nine years of experience in Mindanao with tons of friends around, being able to speak the language and having already driven a scooter all over with friends pretty much everywhere <laughs> across Mindanao. So yeah, I just wanted to share that. Uh, I'm just really tired, so if this comes out not super smooth, <laughs> I'm saying sorry, but again, just thank you to my friends. Oh, final thing too. Well, Garahi was awesome. The chicken seasick is so good. Good restaurant. But 
on the way back here to my friend's house too, we stopped at this place called Flip and Grill. And I, I was really besogue, but they gave me a Hello Hello. And I just tried it. And I kid you not, I, even though I was full, I had to eat it. It's so good. Try the Hello Hello at Flip and Grill. Get inspired. Be stoked when your friends help you and give you their beds. Do the same for your friends. Do the same for strangers. I'm tired of going to sleep. See you in the morning.